clothing get a little bit, you, you know? You bamboozled me <laughs> when you said, what if it rains, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the B-side word. Um, Alexander, you got another article this week, which um, I thought we'll actually do because it resonates with me living in Australia and probably us Aussies. But do you remember what it was about or do you want me to talk about it? I do remember, but I reckon you should talk about it. <laughs> okay so it sounds like you don't remember so there's a um quite a big brand it's in all the main shopping centers here called lorna jane and it sells um activewear for women okay um fairly uh, quite highly priced i've maybe bought one thing before but anyway nice activewear so they have launched a new uh, what they call the lj shield exclusive technology this month now they have been sent to court and I think ordered to pay a fine um, because they claim that this LJ Shield is uh, can protect you from viruses. We are in the age of COVID-19. Yeah. Right? So just to give a little bit more insight, they've been developing this for a couple of years though, they said. A chemical-free treatment that is applied to active wear and it protects wearers against viruses and bacteria. They've even got like um, an infographic. So they've got like, um, if you go on the article, they've got the viruses and bacteria survive on metal for how many hours, on glass for this many hours, on normal clothing or active wear for this many hours, but on our LJ Shield and there's like nothing on there right so they've been trying to sell it and people have been saying you're using covid to incite fear and try and sell sell your products right basically is this like um what's that pete evans who's P- pete evans yeah the the guy from um isn't that the guy from the yeah, yeah. oh yes 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 no idea you're he's about. also been fined yeah a chef yeah but what was his thing um, that the, 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 that the government's going to so kill him. So, like, oh, he yeah. had this thing, uh, this um, uh, device that uh, gave, you, uh, not UV light, some sort of ultrasonic light, and he said, it kills viruses by my machine. It's $5,000. <laughs> he got the idea of Trump. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they said, take it down and pay the fine. <laughs> <laughs> take that shit down because you're going to kill people. <laughs> so, I, yeah. you know fine. what? There is actually some evidence to support the ultraviolet light can help kill the it on surfaces not really by shining light into your body like trump said but ultraviolet light on sur- in your some house. evidence so you some sh- evidence but i don't know right i've not looked into what exactly and how you have to use all that stuff but there is some legitimacy okay, okay. so well lorna okay, jane I've got, an, I've got an idea <laughs> yep i'll get an ultraviolet torch <laughs> yeah and i'll sh- i'll shine the light in your earnest yeah. We'll see if it causes the virus. On the surface, mate. On the surface. <laughs> we're we're going to have to start a cleaning mate, we're business. That, we're, getting that, we're getting that light inside. It's in a Trump treatment. <laughs> <laughs> Open wide. <laughs> um, oh, no. See, now what I, what I would wonder... Oh, how? How? He might, he might have to cough a couple of times to get it out. <laughs> yeah. What I was wondering, this active wear that protects yeah. against COVID... Could you, if, if th- say, this pretend this is your company and you've put this product out or like it got put out without you knowing and now you're trying to be quick witted to win this case, could you claim and go, we've uh, we've made out the same material as the, the masks, so if it's not protecting against viruses, then uh, do masks not work? <laughs> but they'd have to show that it is out of the same material. But yes, they could try and pull pull the wool over their eyes that way. Yeah, you'd, just, you'd just be, you'd, they'd be stuck there, like, oh no, how do we do this? <laughs> but I'm just but looking that, that at this. That was another problem. What happens when it rains? Well, like the ma- the masks get a bit, you know. <laughs> so it, it, so if they use the same material, wouldn't the clothing get a little bit, you, you know? You me <laughs> when you said, "What if it rains, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> Don't stand in the rain. <laughs> but what happens if you're like walking on a street and it starts raining an and you've got no cover? <laughs> it, 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 are your clothes just going to like disappear? Disappear. <laughs> you could, just dis- disintegrate. You could, you could coat the clothes in it. You don't have to make the clothes yeah. entirely out of it. <laughs> Killing me, CJ. But, but then if it rains and you're stuck out there, don't you lose the fact, the, the, the thing that's keeping the virus out? What? What the the filter? Like if it rains, yeah, yeah. It would just put a new one in. 
Well, no, so what it is... No, he's talking about the activewear. <laughs> put, put the rainproof yeah. on top of it. <laughs> so, rainproof, mask clothes, normal material, sandwich, there is a new material, done, plus. Okay, Starting a new if business. you're in summertime wearing... If you're wearing if you're in summertime and it's a hot day and you're wearing that much clothing, no, you attack the clothes from the inside no, I'm out. I'm saying that's that's one piece of clothing. So that's just that's one thin composite material. <laughs> but the, the composite that's made of the masks, I'm not sure if it does well in water. We could do this that, anyways, <laughs> anyways, Emma. So Emma, like, let us know let, more let's about say this you're, you, you, you're a person who uh, pers- perspires a lot. Right, Emma. This is an example. CJ. So you can have CJ. All the Shut up. <laughs> Shut so I'm up. just looking at the um the infographic, and they go so far as to say odor causing bacteria, m- mold, and infectious diseases like COVID nineteen. So they explicitly say COVID nineteen. They put it in there. Can remain on hard services, but up to for up to ninety six hours. But with our new fabric treatment, LJ Shield, they cannot be transferred to your activewear. And then they put that um, image. Um, so they this hasn't been tested on by the Therapeutic Goods Association. Wait, wait, wait. CGA. So, so they're not. So they're saying it just can't be transferred to their activewear. Yeah. Which is fine, right? Like, but how do they well, know it can't be? Yeah, I say that's a pretty big statement. To me. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so, so what you're saying is, if I'm wearing clothes, can COVID nineteen be transferred through my clothes into my body? Well, yeah, it's a bacteria. Um, it can go on. It can go on any yeah. surface. Or you could touch your clothing and then like. Put your fingers CJ, in. that's it. CJ's not leaving the house. <laughs> that's it. He's <laughs> staying in the house. He's <laughs> this, seems, this is this is why people are like pissed off at people who don't take it seriously because it can literally be on any surface. Now, I'm just saying, like, if it's on your clothes, right? Yeah. Can it from your clothes go into your? Let's say you get a cut on your arm, and it's on your shirt on the arm side. Can it go through your shirt into the cut on your arm and you got it? Potentially. I, I, th- I have a friend who studies... It's, it's a genuine question. I have a friend who is, is in medicine and um, she did say that um, viruses can't really live on your like clothing. So when you open the bathroom doors with your clothing... That's why, because it's not going to stay on there like it would your hand. Like it might be on there yeah. for a little bit, maybe, but then it's yeah. not going to survive. They live different, they live different <laughs> times. To answer your question, by the way, Siege, I don't know, but I'm going to say no because it's a respiratory infection, not a blood infection. So, so oh, again, right, right. my next, so my next question: If it doesn't live on your clothing now, that isn't all clothing virus protection. No, it, yeah, it that's what does, they put. It does live... Okay, the virus can live on anything. It just lives for different amounts of times on things. So yeah. on clothes, it yeah. lives for a lot less time. Yeah. So what you it's kind of like It's kind of like <laughs> humans. Wait, we can live anywhere, but if you put us in space, we won't survive very long. Oh, no, 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 that's that a good one. That's a good like, one. Good analogy. Like I was saying, like, example, right? If I get two people with COVID and they cough on the table... Yeah. I get the active wear and I wipe <laughs> it, and I get my shirt and I wipe it. It will be on my shirt, but not on the. That's what they're claiming. That's what they claim. That's what they're saying. That's what they're claiming. Yes. Okay, just, just yes. clearing it up. Yes. All right. That was All right. <laughs> yeah. um, Let us know about this active wear. So uh, here's just an update, by the way. So according to the Center for Disease Control (CDC), um, most likely way for the virus to spread is through close contact with someone who's infected. Um, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, wash your hands. Da, 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 da. Okay, they haven't actually done the same study on how long the virus can survive on fabric. So it remains a possibility that the coronavirus can live on clothes for several hours, which is less than other services. So, yeah, I guess it can live on your skin for longer, whatever, but it can still live. So it says, on the, One minute warning. On the other hand, soft, porous surfaces, such as the sleeves of your shirt, and that's what specifically you are, CJ, actually limit the likelihood of spreading these viruses for two reasons number one these viruses are more likely to get trapped within the fibers and weave of permeable surfaces like fabric um, making it less likely for the virus to later transfer to your hand face or another surface and number two these viruses are much less infective potentially non-infective when dried out and fabrics are more likely to absorb and suck water away from a virus yeah Okay, so my my next question is, from what Emma just said, 
we're all aware of clothing, correct? Mm -hmm. So the governments did not think of testing how long it survives on clothing? Well, I, I don't know how easy that test would be, to be honest, just because you'd have to test every material to make an actual statement. Silk, cotton, whatever you use. <laughs> Mater <laughs> well, they, well, they, materials are not that simple. There's so many different types of materials. That and they did clothing. tell the naked guy How to many put different types of on? materials can there be? be? I, I think thousands. Because you have... <laughs> Because they make... So, for example, Steve, when, when we make clothes... How many scientists is there? <laughs> I think they're... I, just, I think they already know that cl clothing's probably not the main carrier yeah. of viruses. If you, so. if you go to America right now, they've got, like, how many hundred thousand people with COVID? Yeah. Get them all, get them all to cough on a freaking different type of material and see how long it survives. See? I'm helping out. Well, that's why they're wearing face masks. Oh, you want them no, to I, like? I thought, oh, you I thought want them to? Men, Emma. I thought you had him. <laughs> I, was, I was amazed. No. <laughs> oh no! But I realised then. Sorry, I misunderstood what you said. Yeah, get them to to get like a little square fabric, <laughs> different ones. Yeah. And when they present one, to the when they get the confirmation, it's like here's your fabric, please cough, and then they test it. But I think they're just more yeah. concerned with trying to find a anti like a vaccine. <laughs> at the Which, no, by I'm the way, saying, like because we all wear clothing. If there's a material that we should wear, which is actually better for it, like, and it doesn't last long on it, it's something we should wear at this time. I was thinking of a duck concept. Yeah. Like, let's say it survives eight hours on, common, on, on cotton, mm. right? And tw an hour on silk. We should be more wearing more silk items at the moment. Everyone's just cotton. dressed as silk. the 90s. You want everyone to wear silk? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be slick and smooth, mate. Slick and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sweating so much in silk. Yeah. I'm, a, but you won't get COVID. <laughs> See, if we if we went down that route, I feel like we'd be getting closer and closer to these dystopian worlds we keep seeing in films. Just imagine everyone like, just dressed in everyone the same. in silk in the houses, not going outside. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just for this period of time, you find out how long the virus lasts on certain. Mate, once fabrics, you go, right? how, once you go to silk, you can't go back. Mate. <laughs> That's it. So, 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 so you know which fabrics you should be wearing outside, which fabrics you should wear inside for the time being. What advice is out there? So you're even more predictable. Speaking of this clothing and what you should wear and masks and all these things, when people are against masks for the reason of it's a slippery Civil slope. Right. It's, yeah, it's a slippery slope. They get us to wear this. What will they get us to cover next? All that kind of stuff. Do all those people understand that by law you have to wear clothes? You have to cover <laughs> the majority of your body already. <laughs> well, the police have already and had to give this warning. I've seen some of the people that didn't want to wear the masks. And for, hu for the human eyeball, maybe you should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you tell us more about this, Lorna J? Tell oh, us more. Okay. Uh, tell us more. Well, there's not much more. They've basically stopped referring to their products as antivirus. They have they only refer to it as antibacterial. They've removed all references to virus from their website. Um, they didn't intend to mislead anyone, and they've I think they they've got to pay a fine. Maybe. Can I can I just give you a brief? Like when I saw the headline, Lorna Jane Technology Antivirus. I thought they were going into tech like computers. I thought they were taking on the Norton. anti Norton antivirus, and I was like, "That's a big leap." How did you go from clothing to Active taking wear. shit on like like the Norton? And I was like, "Oh shit, that's a that's a hell of a leap." But whatever, power to you, power to you. Well, whatever that's, right. about. that's what I was They're thinking. They're not getting much sales at the moment, yeah. so then <laughs> branching out. <laughs> Thank you.